Welcome to you from St Peter's Church. Welcome to the new year threes. Welcome to anyone who's just joined the school. Welcome to new teachers and new staff. If you don't know me yet, my name is Tony and I am the children's worker at St Peter's. And this year we're going to be talking a bit more about the school values, which we did last year. We talked about the group. So if you were here with us last year, you may remember some of these as we go through them again. So the school values are based on the fruits of the Spirit in the Bible. If you were with us last year, you'll probably remember these. The Spirit, of course, is God's Spirit. But why does the Bible call them fruits? Well, let me put it like this. If you have a pear tree, you get pears from it. And if you have a cherry tree, you get cherries from it. I love cherries. And if you've got a blackberry bush, what do you get from it? You get blackberries, of course. But some plants are poisonous and they have poisonous berries, which is why it's very important when you're out and about, not just to pick and eat berries. Even if the birds can eat them, they might be poisonous to us. Well, when the Bible talks about fruit, it is talking about what is in our heart. In the same way that pears come from pear trees, cherries come from cherry trees, and so on. Good fruit comes from a good heart. The Spirit of God works inside our hearts to bring good things out of it. But like a poisonous berry, if there are bad things, mean thoughts in our hearts, then mean actions come out of that. So the fruits of the Spirit are all about the Spirit of God helping us to do good things like the good fruit and not to do bad things like the bad fruits the poisonous fruits and the fruits of the spirit are all about how we think how we behave can you remember them they are love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control so if we love other people, we show them kindness. We are good to them. We are gentle and so on. And of course, if we are nice to others, they tend to be nice back to us. And if we are mean to others, they tend to be mean back to us. So our school values are based on these good things, these good deeds that we hear about in the Bible. Have another listen to the song and see if it helps you to remember what those fruits of the Spirit are. And we will continue to talk about these over the coming term and for the rest of the year in assemblies. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is a love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness and self-control. The fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. So as ever, we're going to end our assembly with a little prayer. And the way we do things is that if you would like to join in with the prayer, then you can say Amen, which means let it happen or let it be at the end. If you'd like to just close your eyes, be quiet with me for a minute, and then say Amen at the end if you'd like. Dear Lord, I pray that you will give us the fruit. Help us to show love to one another, to be kind, to be good, to have joy and peace, to not get angry if somebody irritates us, and to be considerate to the people around us, our teachers, home. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Hope you all have a great week and we will be seeing you again for some more of these assemblies, myself and the vicar, Greg. See you soon. God bless. Bye bye.